could you sum up the, the main feeling that is in the dressing room at the moment? Uh, to, to be fair, you know, after Saturday, uh, myself, I just wanted to play again on the Tuesday. I really wanted a, a game straight away. And I think most of the boys would have said the same. We're just eager to go out there now and put it right. That's the general feeling. You've had a fairly good record against Hamilton in recent times. Are you the type to, to take confidence from that, or is every game, you know, on its own merits? Uh, I try and yeah, treat every game like like every game really uh, but you know I'm aware you know, I've scored some goals against them this season scored some against them last season so hopefully I can add to that on Saturday What's been made this season about Motherwell having strength at the top end of the field that if they can just stop conceding goals is it, is it perhaps a bit time that the team stopped worrying about that and just tried to do whatever it, whatever it needs to do to, to get a win rather than trying to outscore the opponent all the time Well you know first and foremost we need to win the game simple as it's a massive game uh, Saturday well every game now is a massive game it has been all season uh, you know if if we could keep a clean sheet you know I think we're, we're fairly confident we're going to score in the game uh, you know with me and Scotty up top and Bowie as well and you know we've got good wingers as well now and we've got we've got a good squad so you know if we can try and be solid at the back and then you know, get a few goals I think that's I think that's where we're strong I just said there, you know, I feel that People can say you're, you're too good to go down as a squad, as an attack almost, but that sort of thing goes out the window when sort of pressure's on, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it is. You know, people have been saying it all season. Uh, too good to go down. You have got a good squad. Uh, you know, it, it's all good being having a good squad, but you need to perform on the pitch on a Saturday, and that's what we haven't been doing. Uh, we need to do that. We've got you know Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday to prove. People that have been saying that all season, right? Uh, I believe we can do it. Everyone in the changing rooms believes we can do it. Everyone at the club believes we can do it. So you know, it's just up to us now. The fact that there's a derby element to this weekend's game does that you know, help focus minds in any way, or is, is that irrelevant just given the situation? Then? Uh, you know, with the situation we're in, it's, it's massive. Whoever we were going to play, but maybe it does give it that little bit extra with it being Hamilton. Uh, so, like I said, the boys are really, really eager to to get out there and put things right. The manager said that he thinks this game is bigger than the Rangers playoff a couple of years ago. Destiny is in your own hands. <clears throat> the players, you have spoken about that game in the final few games that are coming up. Uh, well, I, I weren't at the club at that time, sure. uh, so I can't really comment on that. But you know, I've heard a few of the lads. You know, Lionel said it in the press. I think. Uh, I think Laz has maybe said it as well that it's bigger than the the Rangers playoff game. And yeah, it probably is. Uh, it's definitely the biggest game I'm going to play in uh, whilst I've been at this football club. So, on a personal note, you know, it's the biggest game that, I, that I've been part of so far. Uh, so, I'll be I'll be hundred percent uh, like I am every week. Have you ever been involved in a situation like this in any of previous clubs? Not quite like this, no. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. If, if I'm honest, uh, I thrive off a bit of pressure, so I'm looking forward to it. What is that about? Do you think it brings out the best? Yeah, brings out. I think everyone. I think you know you built, you built for pressure. If you ask me, yeah, you get a little bit of extra hard work out yourself and uh, the butterflies in your stomach. You know, the, the, I think you work that, that that little bit more harder. The players have talks amongst themselves. You know, like uh, away from the manager, just you know to try and sort of motivate yourselves. So you see, see big games in eight days, or do you rely on? You know, kind of motivational speeches from, from the boss? No, the, the gaffer's really good at that, if, if I'm totally honest. Uh, he is a motivator and he, he does get us up for games. Not just games, but training as well. He, he's, he's right on it. And uh, to be fair, we've got quite a lot of senior boys in the squad. And, you know, they're, they're coaches as well in, in the training sessions and in games. They're always trying to help the younger boys or or be it anyone, and they're always trying to motivate. You know, you can't just leave it down to the manager. Us players have got to motivate each other as well, and that happens every day. Well, I guess you're literally playing for your futures. You don't know what would happen next season if you were to be relegated. Of course, yeah. I think every time you step out on the pitch, you're playing for your future. I honestly do, and that, that's the way I look at it. Uh, I think everyone should look at it like that. You see the sort of different characters in the, in the dressing room when you've got this kind of pressure, you know, some will live off the adrenaline and enjoy the pressure, like you're saying, Louis, but are there others that you see maybe become a bit quieter? Yeah, maybe some will be a little bit quieter and 
Yeah, I, I, I won't see a great deal in a change room before the game. I'm not one to rant and rave. Uh, I like to just to, to steady my nerves and, and go out there and express myself on the football pitch. Uh, but there'll be, you know, everyone's different in football. Uh, you get the vocal ones in the change room, Lars, Mick, who will be shouting and encouraging everyone. And you get a few just, I don't know, saying a prayer maybe. Uh, you know, everyone's different. Uh, but as long as we all come together on that football pitch on Saturday, that's the main thing. <laughs> As, as I think now, it's quite a harmonious group in that sense. Has it been like collective strength? Has that been the sort of thing that's, that's kept me taking over? Yeah, we're, we're a very close knit group, uh, very tight. I think probably more more close than last season, if, if I'm honest. Uh, I think everyone gets on really well. Uh, and, you, you know, there's, there's groups of boys that do things together outside of football, and I think that's massive. And, you know, as a team as well, we do stuff out, outside of football, and that, that's massive for the, for the club. And, uh, you know, we're friends as well as uh, teammates, and I think that's, that's huge. As difficult as this one has been, can it actually help? Foster team spirit and foster that unity. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, if if we if we win and when we win on Saturday, you know, we'll all be smiling and laughing together on the Saturday, and we know we've got another two games to do it again. Um, and I think that'll that'll bring us even closer. You see that those guys in the team that are friends on and off the park sort of thing. Does that when when things are going tough, does that help if you need to tell a few home trips that you, Guys will take it and we'll listen to yeah. them, accept it because it is coming from somebody that they're not that close to. Yeah, possibly. Uh, I think <clears throat> I think that happens quite a lot. Uh, I think when someone tells you, as a friend, I think you take it in more. Uh, you probably take offence to it if if you didn't like the person telling you what to do. Uh, and I think that that's evident on a Saturday. You know, when the boys are trying to encourage yourself, you never really see a player. Uh, you know, effing and blinding at his teammate. You don't really see that at this football club, and I think that's massive. There's some chat about uh, Rangers being interested in Ben Hennigan. Have you heard them talk about it at all? And is he the type of character that would be able to just focus on the job and plan? Yeah, uh, not heard a great deal about it to be fair. Uh, but you know, it, it's a compliment to Ben. You know, and that's the way he's got to take it. But you know, he's got to forget about that and just uh, think about getting us safe. Uh, and then you know, that's up to him to think about that after if he wants to.